Hey yeah. everybody, it's Perez next to the one and only Janice Dickinson. Now, it's been a hot second since we've spoken and, and chatted on camera. Last time was right after you had gotten off that I'm a celebrity, get, get me, me out, out of here. here. Uh huh. I will not be spoken to like this by anybody. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm in a state of shock. I'm... <sighs> a lot has happened since then. So much has happened since then. Uh, for you and actually some of those people involved in that show, like that crazy Spencer and Heidi, do you, do you keep in touch with them? No, no, no. Why would I? Did you enjoy them while you were with them in the jungle? Here's the deal, everybody. Okay, uh, when I got invited to do the show, it was the second time I'd in fact done the You had show. won it before. Well, I... I Unfair I, advantage I to have done it again. Well, yeah, I was the one to beat, so it was get Janice. And, and Spencer and Heidi did try to get me. And I took Spencer aside and I said, look, Junior, you're an amateur. <laughs> I'm a professional. I've done this before. I've eaten enough bugs and I've drank enough, you know, junk, you know, in the, in the, in the jungles in Brisbane, Australia. But here we are in Costa Rica and Spencer's trying to get in my face. I'm like, no, no, no. You don't cross the line here. Go be crazy with other people. And <laughs> he, he respected that. Mm -hmm. Don't throw the <laughs> in the <laughs> fireplace, please. The Pineapple rats. will smell good. No, dude. The rats will come. In a burning fire? They will. I'm telling the fire you. Will die down. Yeah, and we need them for the meat. One bit my finger. They go for it when the fire goes I out. Apologize. Please. So now, flash forward, you were just on Celebrity Rehab. When does that start airing? Or has it already began airing? Oh, good lord. Today is 83 days of sobriety, thanks to Dr. Drew Pinsky. I went up to Drew and I said, Drew, I have a problem with sleeping pills. I was taking uh, Ambien to go to sleep and I, I became hooked on them. Ambien and Ativan. And, and What's Ativan? That's another Ad type of sleeping it's, pill? Yes, it's antidepressant and I took it in the jungle because wouldn't you if you had to eat bugs? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I was taking it and you know, I've, I've been on it for quite a while. So, you know, and along with menopause and that, it, it's kind of at, at my young age, I'm not gonna tell you, but you can look it up. Now, there might be some people that will be skeptical and said, say that you just went on Celebrity Rehab because you just wanted to be on another TV show. No. 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 I am 83 today. I am 83 days today sober through the grace of God and the constant work that I've done by asking Drew if I could get, he, he, to get some help from my, addic my addiction to sleeping pills. And now, he said I could help you with that. And can I, how would you get all these pills? Would, would the same doctor prescribe them to you or would you go to different doctors? Well, I, I would, you know, I don't want to bust my doctor, but you know, I was asking for the medication for a reason. I, I traveled back and forth to London. I, I went nine times to London, like in, in, in a few weeks and I was oh, really wow. jet lagged and, and super tired. But it was before that because I was doing the Insider uh, get waking up really early in the morning to do the Insider on um, on yeah yeah the in syndicated two. show yeah yeah syndicated and you have to be up really early to do those shows around Christmas time so I've been taking them and I didn't like what they, what they're how they were making me feel what was the most challenging part for you like did you have to go cold turkey or oh yes yes it... yes you have to stop everything and what happened to me in my case was I started to get tremors and then shakes my hands were shaking i had no idea what was happening to me and they were helping me with uh they were helping me in rehab by going to daily meetings and 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 working working the, the 12 steps do you have any advice for lindsay lohan yes lindsay because she's been to rehab herself five times she's not she needs to go talk to drew pinsky she needs she lindsay. doesn't like drew he's said a lot of things about her in the past that have upset her tough shit you, she needs to. She needs to live. Lindsay, you need to put sobriety first. You know, not your relationships with that crazy spinner. What's her name? Samantha, Samantha Ronson. Ronson. Hi, Samantha. Crazy, uh, but I love her. Love her to death. <laughs> you know, I mean, no relationships gone. Okay, work gone. Work on sobriety. Let's surround Lindsay and, and send her shout outs and pray for Lindsay because we can save her. She needs to save herself. We'll stop going to late night nightclubs. Stop all the, you know, the Red Bulls. Just, you know, stop. The thing about you is, I mean, you have two children and that definitely probably helps 
you and your path to sobriety, but yes, it did. she doesn't have maybe her dog. Sir, maybe her younger sister and brothers, but other than that, like both her mom and her dad are hot messes. Yeah, they are. So, yeah. but that, but that's still no excuse. She's been no. to rehab five times. She's been arrested three times. No, but you know that's that's the disease of alcoholism, and that is the disease of chemical di it's, addiction. It's, it's a, a genetic disease. thing it's, too. It's genetic. It's environmental. It's peer pressure, and it's but it's also her parents throwing her when she wasn't ready into Hollywood to do the movies. I mean, Naomi Campbell had a problem by being thrown into fashion too early with anger problems and anger issues, which she readily talks about herself. Kate Moss, another one thrown in at a very early age. You know, there's so, so, so many evil energy vampires that feed off these young girls, plying them with drugs and alcohol on a constant basis. That's why, that's why it's really hard for me no, it's not hard for me. I'm here to say to anyone listening, especially young models and young actors and actresses in Hollywood, stay away from drugs and alcohol because it, it, it can be your demise. It will be your demise. Eat, sleep, shit, eat whatever it takes to be a model. Not because you love it. You're a pretty girl. I love the way you look. But it's not about that. It's about more, booby. It's about more. Now, you always give really good TV no matter what you do, but you didn't start doing television until later on in your career. Did you always have a desire to be on camera in, a, in that capacity, not, not just as a model? Well, you know that I, writ, I've, I wrote three books, No Lifeguard on Duty, which is a cautionary tale of incest, sex, drugs, rock and roll, Studio 54, Fashion and Thrival. And then Tyra Banks read that book, and she was casting uh, for the uh, the mean judge, like the female Simon Cowell. Right. Uh, and I was hired by the network to play, you know, Janice, you know, as the protagonist on America's Next Top Model. And it, look what I did for that show. It went worldwide. And, you know, it still is. You know, so, yeah, the, the, the television work, look, don't forget, I've always done TV to promote my books, to uh, talk about plastic surgery, to talk about Studio 54. I did an E2 Hollywood story. Uh, yeah, I do a lot of television like you. You All over the world, too. All over the world! It's what? insane. You've done so many shows. Like, you've done Top Model here, you've done Top Model in Europe. Finland, the, right. Australia, Germany. The Finland one was a little controversial. Yes, you could, you could look that up. <laughs> That, that was me on you know, sleeping pills and what I accidentally did was, oops, I drank some champagne. I had to go back the next day and apologize to the, to the show, to the girls, most importantly the girls because I was this, you know, dragon evil, you know, avatar. I was, I was, the, I was the black avatar, the mean one, fashion avatar. <laughs> I admit it, you know. But I, avatars are successful. Yeah, but you know, it's not successful. In my case, I was hired to be a role model, and here I was stumbling downstairs, you know, and just screaming and calling, calling the girls whores. It was, it was bad, and I, and I, and I still apologize to that show to this day. Do you, do you keep in touch with Tyra by any chance? No. no. No, she doesn't like me. She really doesn't like you. She never sent me a thank you note or a Christmas card. I was promised greatness on that show if I stayed five seasons, and you know, as in every case with every uh, show that wants to take it and have a different twist, okay? I got fired, I guess because, you know, I kept calling the girls fat. Well, they were. <laughs> so was Tyra. Oops. Perhaps I can get involved. No! Just kidding. Wait, wait, pass <laughs> him! Just kill that all right. That's fashion. You can't hold back. <laughs> that was scary.